In some local news tonight, charges have been filed for a Columbia woman involved in a deadly motorcycle crash last August. Today, 24-year-old Elizabeth Lopez was charged with leaving the scene of a crash that killed a person along with two counts of someone being hurt. Our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live tonight outside of the Boone County Courthouse. Mitch, that crash killed 18-year-old Walker Davis. Megan Lucas, I reached out to the Davis family earlier today, but they did not want to comment until after the case had been resolved. However, they did express frustration that it took so long for Lopez to be charged, specifically that it was nearly five months before they got a police report. Columbia police say Elizabeth Lopez was leaving her home in the Kelly Ridge apartment complex on August 5th when she pulled out in front of two motorcycles while trying to make a left-hand turn. According to the probable cause statement, Walker Davis was thrown from his motorcycle after laying it down to try and avoid Lopez's car. The other motorcycle collided with Lopez's car, and the two people who were riding on it both went flying off. Davis died from the collision. The other two were taken to a hospital for treatment. Court documents allege Lopez turned around after the crash and went back to her apartment. Police say Lopez didn't make herself known to them as they investigated and towed her Volkswagen Golf from outside her apartment. She called police early the next morning to provide insurance information and a statement. Lopez also allegedly told police that she told her boyfriend about the crash and had an alcoholic drink after going back to her apartment. Lopez was arrested the next day and posted a $7,500 bond. After Columbia Police posted the initial details of the crash back in August, one of the family members commented on social media saying that police had told them that Walker was wearing full protective gear and a helmet and was going the speed limit. We reached out to the Columbia Police Department to try and confirm these details. They have yet to get back to us. However, one of the family's lawyers, Brian McAllister, said that the family is grateful that some measure of justice is being done and that they are looking forward to the trial. Reporting live in Columbia, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Mitchell. Lopez does not have a defense attorney listed online on CaseNet. Her first court appearance is set for January 24th.